Hello, my fellow sensitive people. I hope everyone is great. And it is I, Whimsy, here to deliver another remote view. I'm here in my offices between patients, so this is going to be a real quick remote view. Um, I've been as glued to the impeachment hearings as everybody else, which basically means I get interested, I get bored. My concern is, is that the attention span people have today is very different than the atten attention span that they had in the 1970s. <laughs> so I don't know if this impeachment hearing is having much of an effect. But anyway, um, I was asked to remote view the reasons why I thought that the president had gone to Walter Reed Hospital. So I did do a meditation and I also did a little bit of a thought exercise this is some of the stuff you can learn if you do a Sylvia mind control, where you go into the meditative state and then theoretically, if you've got all of the information, you can kind of put things together really nicely. Um, what I did is I kind of put it together like a clue and then I also did a little bit of remote viewing, but I was able to get a picture before it was taken down off the net. I think that the pictures have since been taken down, but it appears that he was not wearing a tie. The picture I, I saw of him, uh, he was not wearing a tie and he was carrying what looked like uh, a large foldable briefcase, uh, the, ty the type you would keep uh, files in. So, as a remote viewer who is, if I'm using mostly the, the third chakra technique where I'm, I'm uh, tuning into my gut and I'm trying to put the clues together and I'm in a meditative state and I'm, I'm going with my gut, the first thing I'm going to want to know is what's in the briefcase. What's in the briefcase and why is the president carrying a briefcase? Why is he carrying this folder? So I went ahead and I googled images of the president walking and I have not yet found any history of the president ever carrying a briefcase or any kind of a folder. So it's unusual, it's out of character for him and it's something he's never uh, been photographed doing that I could find in the past. Um, the type of folder he was holding appears to be the kind that you would hold documents in like your birth certificate, your record of vaccination, your medical records, etc. So I think that what he had in his hands was his medical records, his baby records, all of it, the history of his medical records. I think the fact that he didn't want anyone to hold his records is because they're personal records. They're his private medical records and he holds them close to him. But the medical records question is an interesting question because there's been there appears to be a, a cover-up on the part of Trump when it comes to his medical records. Uh, we know that Borstein, his uh, former uh, doctor in New York, uh, claimed that the offices were raided and that Trump associates, uh, his bodyguard and uh, uh, someone from the White House, uh, possibly a lawyer, had come and taken all of his medical records. So he seized his own medical records uh, from Bornstein. We also know that his lawyer in the White, or excuse me, his doctor in the White House was fired, or excuse me, stepped down after accusations that he, he was indiscriminately handing out sleeping pills. So these are enough clues for me to want to do a remote view. I think that because of the briefcase, because it was unusual to see the briefcase, because it was an unscheduled doctor's visit because he was disheveled and not wearing a tie. There was enough there for me to decide, yeah, I think it's worth taking a look and doing a remote view. Like I said, when I did a remote view, it felt to me like they were his medical records. They were his personal medical records. He was very specific about who could look at them. Uh, it also looked like he'd been fighting or arguing with somebody, possibly the White House physician which is interesting because when I remote view the new White House medical staff, they have very strict instructions about what drugs they will and won't uh, give Mr. Trump, which means that he's getting his medications, uh, certain types of uh, drug medications, sleeping pills, amphetamines, etc. If he's not getting them from the White House doctors, he's getting them from another source. So when I remote view that, it looks like he has a source 
at his properties. So he has someone that supplies him in Florida. He has somebody that supplies him in New Jersey. He had someone that supplies him in New York, uh, packages to his home, delivered to his security guard, etc. that there was a protocol to make sure that his medications got to him safely. And being in the White House has disrupted that. And White House doctors are refusing to prescribe certain things. So I believe that what happened was is that he got in, into a fight with the White House doctor and it's over this issue of his medical records and over uh, prescriptions and also uh, certain reasons they want to do additional testing with him perhaps. But it appears there was some kind of an argument between him and the, and, and the White House doctor and he took his records and decided to uh, go to Walter Reed to see if he could get help there. So that begs the question, if he's fired his doctor or if he's had a fight with his doctor, why would he fight with his doctor? And I think the answer is very obvious. He fought with his doctor because his doctor wouldn't give him what he wanted. And so he took his medical records like a three-year-old child and marched off to Walter Reed to see if he could find another doctor that would give him what he wants. That's what it looks like to me. I could be completely wrong, but I think that this is starting to look like drug-seeking behavior and also temper tantrums because the physicians, particularly physicians in this country, when it comes to certain types of addiction drugs, there's more protocol we have to go through now before we prescribe. But there's also uh, an electronic system that helps us know if somebody's having the same medication prescribed by another doctor. Uh, so catching doubling up, catching catching if there are multiple people prescribing the medications. If the medication has been prescribed to somebody else or if it's been delivered through another uh, venue, that's that's a whole other ball of wax. But it looks to me like that may be what we're looking at now. So... It's going to be interesting to see how it plays itself out, but I think it has to do with fights with White House doctors, and I think that it led to a temper tantrum, and I think that what was in the folder was his, his per personal medical records. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. I'll try and do a blitz as soon as possible. Um, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>